Good morning. Today is day two of our seven days of remembrance, devotion, and presence. Hi, I'm Lady Ometo, and thank you so much for being here. So yesterday, we connected with the earth element. The earth element as we connect to that place of remembering that we are supported. And not only that, we remember that we are on our and, and connected to this physicality and this physicality that that assist us and guide us and hold us and home us to be able to express ourselves in the world, our uniqueness in the world as the first element, the earth element is also connected to our first chakra. And, and so that earth, that groundness, that the juiciness of connecting to uh, Mother Earth. So today we're gonna to connect it to the element of water, remembering, devoting, and being in presence with the element of water. And as I mentioned yesterday, I asked you to bring a glass of water. If in case you did not, just pause this video for a, for a little second and go and grab a glass of water, water, uh, clear water, water that you can drink. <clears throat> yeah, so, um, I can invite you to reach for that water and really feel that water. Um, I'm holding this beautiful water. As a matter of fact, this is a spring water uh, right here from the property. And it's, it's really juicy and really beautiful. And I'm honoring this water to support all the waters in this planet. So as you hold your class, take a moment to feel that connection to the element of water. Water, if you go back and think, water is primarily what 80, 90% of our bodies is, is made of water in our cells, in our tissues, um, in every niche aspect of being, in, including on the energetic aspects of ourselves is a lot of water. So as we breathe, when we are breathing in the further meditation that we're gonna go together, as we're breathing, we are also bringing oxygenation, right? To not only prana life force, but also oxygenation, that which is part of our water, H2O. Okay? So uh, as you connect it to this water, I will invite you to remember all that the water brings to you in a physiological way, <clears throat> in an awareness way, in that energetic way. So in few words, water remind us that uh, there is that level of flexibility within us. Water is creation. So that's why it's also connected to our second chakra, that place of creation, the womb of the earth and our own, own womb being male, female, all the expressions of our physical body is we all have that energetic womb, that energetic place of creation. <clears throat> and that's what the water does. Water, it's fluidity. Water can be calm. Water can be raging. Water can be waving. Yeah, as the, the rivers, the creeks, the ocean, the rain, the snow. So water has all the different stages of us, right? So uh, water can be solid as in ice. Water can be fluffy as in snow. Water can be fluid as the rain and, and the, the waters. And depending also what else there is in the water, water can be salt or can be sweet yeah, as you're connected to the waters of Mother Earth. And that's the same within us. So in this meditation, we're going to connect it, remember, devote, and be in presence with the water within ourselves and how we are dealing with the waters within our lives. Yeah, Can we bring calmness to the uh, rough waves within our thoughts, within our feelings? Can we bring smoothness to the, um, the again, the roughness of uh beingness, expressions. And water also <clears throat> is a beautiful element to open new spaces, to open new avenues. 
So if you observe a trickling of water when, when the rain comes, you know that that water will find pathways, might be through the rocks, might be through the sand, might be through the earth, uh, but that water will find incredible pathways. So no matter what, remember, since we are primarily water, we also have the ability to find pathways within ourselves. When we are in a place of confusion in our thoughts, in our mind, in our decision making, we can always calm, find a moment of presence and find new pathways as we connect to this element of water. So I can invite you to take a sip. Yeah, take a sip. And what, as you are taking the sip, feel that water coming through your lips, coming through your mouth, gently swallowing that water, gently feeling that water, igniting that creation aspects within your body. <clears throat> yeah. So um, oh, I love water. <laughs> so um, as you take that sip of water, I can invite you to bring your hands onto your belly. That's that place of creation. That's the center of the womb. That's the, the second chakra. That's the element of water. And there is a beautiful uh, mudra that's really pretty much the flows of water. You, you lightly cross your fingers, touch your womb center, and you can keep the thumbs apart or together, totally up to you, however you feel more comfortable to your body. But allowing, remembering, and, and intuiting into it or bringing the intention that there is that flow of waters. The waters are flowing. The waters are finding pathways. So once you find that comfortable place for you and for your hands, close your eyes. Feel your spine tall. Feel your chest open. Feel the awareness of your body here and now. And take a moment to feel your breath, knowing that through this breath, you're also bringing oxygenation that's part of water. You're bringing O from the H2O. Devoting this time to that awareness that you are water and water is you. Devoting this time of presence for you to go within. For you to honor and remember how important you are in this fabric of life. And that you do have Within all of your beingness, you do have the ability to choose your own pathways. You do have the ability to change your forms as the ice do into water, as the rain do into snow, as the rough waves do into calm. Or also, as the calm lakes do into strong waves, powerful waves. So noticing that place that you do have the choice of new creations. You do have the ability to guide your waves your waters, you do have the ability to change the shapes, shapes of thoughts, shapes of feelings, shapes of awareness. So as you know that, and as you feel that water within your body, visualize this water right there behind your hands around your wound center. And feeling that water around your wound center Calm as a lake at this moment. Feeling the water expand. And feeling the margins or the 
the expansion of that lake or the, the sides of the lake with gentle roughages. The water on the margins are moving a little bit more. And as the waters on the margins are moving, allow the waves of the water from the margins to come back into the center and meeting at the center of this lake. And feel that once they meet, they have an opportunity to be calm again. They meet and they expand back into the margins and they find waves or circles or openness that can come and transform into calm or they can come and transform into action, whichever is important for you at this moment in time. So feel, what is this lake choosing to express at this moment? Noticing your breath, expanding the waves or calming the waves. Feeling the circles of this wave start to get calm and still or feeling the circles of this wave gets a bit more numbers. There's no right or wrong. What is there for you today? Knowing that since you are water, you can always choose to change the course of it, the shape of it, expressions of it. So wherever you are, I can invite all of us to bring the waves at this moment in time, just for now. Remember, you can always change later. But as calm waves. So from the center of the lake, feel gentle circles reaching the margins, the edges of this lake as calm. Until the circles no longer exist, then there is just a calm lake, peaceful, tranquil. And as you look at that lake, on top of that water, there is a mirror image, a mirror image of everything around, the skies, perhaps the trees. So observing that the water also remembers everything around. So that the water within our bodies also carries memories of our thoughts, our feelings, our experiences. And once we know that, we know that we can also change the shape of the memories, the thoughts and the feelings. What, are, what it comes with that? So remember, it's always up to us individually, and sure collectively, but that's for another video. So just connect to those waves, connect to that calm, connect to that awareness of memory. And take a moment of gratitude for the waters within your body that brings nourishment, that brings expression, that brings choice, that brings direction, that brings the ability to change directions, that brings shape and the ability to change shapes, that brings creation. Beautiful. And then very slowly and easy, as you breathe, start to bring your inner attention onto your hands and the hands connecting to your belly. Feeling again that embodiment of your hands touching your belly, knowing that you're here in your physicality, in your body, connecting to the waters, being present, being here and now. 
And then he slowly, still with the eyes closed, release the hands. Shake the hands a little bit. Maybe lay the hands over the legs or over the sides of your body. Observing your breath, observing the flow of your breath. The breath also flows like water. And we also have the ability to guide the breath. So as you're connecting to your breath, take another extra breath of gratitude for the waters within your body and all that the waters gives and nourish and do for you on a daily basis. Beautiful. And then you slowly and easy. Start to open your eyes, bringing yourself here. Excellent. And if you still have some extra water, take another sip of water. And feel the gratitude of being able to have clean, clear, and nourishing water. So I will invite you to take a couple of minutes after this video and, and journal, journal a little bit. What can I remember? Um, what can water bring to me in remembrancy? How can I devote even a little bit more to the power of water within my life, within and around me? And how can I utilize water to bring me present in the here and the now. Beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me. Tomorrow we will connect it with the element of fire. So I will invite you to bring a candle, yeah, a candle and a lighter because we will be connecting to the element of fire. And in the meantime, if there is any comments or anything that you want to share, please uh, share below this video and you can always comment. And I look forward to see you tomorrow. There's so much more coming up. And remember your earth connected to your water. Remember that you are devoting a time for yourself. So be in that space of presence in the space of pause, because within that space of pause, there is that peace and there is that true expression of your light. Thank you. Namaste.